Okay, we're in my car, it's on my 10 minute break. I'm gonna try to go through the process of sketch to final output on my Jurassic Express t-shirt for AEW. If you're unfamiliar with the shirt, this is it. So this thing already has a logo from another t-shirt that I did as an exclusive for Pro Wrestling Crate. But other than that, it's all brand new. So the only notes I was given on the design brief was, hey, it would be cool if this had a green color vibe to it. So as I started playing around with ideas, I started thinking Swamp Thing. If you are at all unfamiliar with Swamp Thing, you need to reconsider the choices that you've made in your life and get familiar with Swamp Thing. I took this old sketch of Jungle Boy and I wanted to refine it a little bit wanted to make it look a little bit more like him and change the pose from the other t-shirt that I had done. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just changing out the face and making it kind of look more like him. And if you're ever doing portraits, really it's all about the proportion on the head um, between the shapes of the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the chin, and the hairline also. Even in a really stylized portrait like this, having those shapes kind of uh, fitting together properly is really going to sell it. So now I've gone and I've brought my old Jurassic Express logo in and I'm starting to uh, ink in all the things that I feel like are working on the sketch. And I usually keep it kind of loose because I don't want to just stick directly to that sketch. I want to have a little bit of artistic flare to it and move a little bit past what I have done in the sketch in the inks. So now I pulled in Marco from my old illustration. The wonderful thing about working digitally, and I work primarily in Procreate for these, is that you can pull from an old illustration and use elements of that to create your new illustration. I used to feel like, oh, that's cheating to pull stuff from an old, you know, illustration or design. What? I mean, you did it. It's not really cheating. You just got to do what works for you. If it makes the work look better, just do it. Some of the anatomy didn't work on the hands of Luchasaurus, so I went back in and fixed it. I also re-inked his body and his head, and that's what I'm doing here. I just sometimes don't. I go like four or five different versions on the inks till I get where I want them to be. It's kind of my favorite part, so I always make sure to keep it the way that I really, really want it. Here I'll add a little bit of weight to the logo. I feel like adding those blacks in is going to help it to really kind of solidify and anchor itself into the design, and then when we add color in, it's going to have a place for it to rest in those black spots where your eye can jump around, but it has that visual anchor of a, like almost like a visual resting place. Okay, let's talk color. Since they asked for a green design, and it works so well with Luchasaurus, my go-to was going to be in a complementary color scheme. So the opposite on the color wheel, if you're unfamiliar with the color wheel, just Google that. Color wheel. Google. Do it now! So the opposite or complementary color of green is red. It looks really visually arresting, especially set on a dark background, which this eventually is going to be set on a charcoal gray, a darker charcoal gray shirt. So now I'm just working directly into my greens by going a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. Usually for my shadow layer, I will do a multiply layer set at about 50%. And I play with that percentage, but that's usually what it is. The design felt a little sparse, so I added in some of those foliage elements, vines and leaves and stuff that I had on my thumbnail if you go to the beginning of the video again. So while the all green color palette works, we also wanted to add in some color so that there was a little bit more visual punch to it. So I'm just doing some skin tones on Jack or Jungle Boy and then Marco too. 
So we're in the home stretch now and I'm just kind of adding into my multiply layer on Jungle Boy and I'm going to do the same on Marco just to give them a little bit more three-dimensional quality. I think I even add a little bit of brown into Luchasaurus's hair and a little bit of reflected light in his biceps and muscles and all that stuff. So that's pretty much the finished illustration. You can buy the shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com. There's a link in the description for this video where you can buy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Click the bell if you want to see more stuff like this. Is there a bell? I hear people say that. I've never seen a bell, but you know what to do.